Hello, this is our multimedia presentation for the first assignment of Industrial Information System and the goal is to show how to set up an ERP system. The first step is going to set up Company Foundation and you can insert your company information here, modify, fill the gaps with your profile uh, information and you can add the logo and adding the starting month of the fiscal year. In this case, we choose March. After that, do save. The next step is to add the third parties. Uh, here, it's created the new suppliers, customers and prospects. For instance, if we want to add a new customer, we go to new customer in the tab and fill the information requested, like uh, the name, uh, phone, email, country, uh, and we can even add a logo. And then do add third party. If we want to check the list of the, of the customers, we go to list of customers in the same tab. We choose, uh, in our case, uh, ping those. And here we can see all the information re related to these customers. We can modify it in modify. And another card will be shown where we can choose an information to modify. In the end we have to do, if we want to create another third parties, the procedure is the same. The only dif difference is that, for instance, if we want to create a new supplier, we go to new supplier, we have to pay attention to the options prospect and customers and supplier. And so we choose the, os the options we prefer. To add a new products, we go to the module products and services, new products on the tab, and insert the data requested. We have to also bear in mind the nature of the products, if it's a raw material or manufactured product. In the end, we do create. Here, we can check the list of our products. Uh, the next thing to be done is to create a warehouse. We go to the stocks on the tab, new warehouse, fill the information requested and do create. Then we can now go to the products. We choose on the list any given product, go to stock, correct stock. Now we choose a warehouse and we can introduce the number of units, the units to purchase and do save. To associate a raw material to a manufactured product we have to create a bill of material. So in the same option we go to virtual products and then uh, in the keyword filter we select the reference of the raw material. In this case we choose plastic and then we can now input the quantity needed to manufacture this product. In the end we do add updates or updates. Another important information to be added on the ERP system is related to the bank accounts. So we go to the bank module, we choose uh, new financial accounts on the tab and fill the information. Uh, we have to pay attention to the account type, in our case is a current or credit card account. We input the initial balance and do create accounts. Um, we go back to the module and select our account, Tyson CA account, and go to bank account number on the card shown. Modify and here we can uh, input the account number and do save. I will now show you how to create an order to a customer using a simulation. So you go to commercial module, select one of your customers like model, do add order and fill the information needed like the reference. Uh, once you filled all the information, source, sorry, you can now create the draft. Now, to continue, we have to uh, select the predefined products to sell. 
for instance uh, avion and the quantities let's say we will ship to uh, a thousand units we do add and if we wanted to ship another unit we could do it here let's validate we confirm uh, here we have to select to ship the product we do we select the, the 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 warehouse in this case this one and do new shipment um, we plan the date deliver here let's say uh, six in the morning in the delivery method and now we do create so now we validate we confirm now we're ready to create an invoice here we fill the information needed once again and create a draft in this draft we can now check the, the description of the, the order and we validate it we confirm and we're ready to do the payment to do the payment we have to fill this information the payment amounts we have to check if the payment is full fully made and do pay we validate uh, now we can see uh, an example of an invoice here the invoice from our company to our customer Modelo with uh, the total payment to be done and now once the invoice is created we go to the module bank we, we can now see that uh, there is a transaction to be reconciled we go to reconcile on the tab we fill those the, those gaps we choose to reconcile, reconcile we go back to our current account transactions and here is our order now paid I'll now show you how to create an order to a supplier. We go to commercial module and we will choose Favor as a supplier. We add an order. Since we choose uh, Favor, we are expecting to receive an order from uh, the raw material, which will be uh, rubber. We do everything as we did before for the customer. Here is rubber. We input the amount we want. 10,000 and do add now we validate and confirm we accept the order confirm once again and uh, we have to choose uh, the method of the order and the date make order confirm let's say we'll deliver the order for tomorrow totally we do receive and now we create the invoice to create the invoice we do everything as we did for the invoice for the customers we create the draft we do validate confirm and we are now ready to do the payments the payment type will be bank transfer we insert the correct amount the total amount and do save we validate now we go to the bank module you, we can see that you, we have a few transactions to be reconciled we will just confirm the last the supplier's payment reconciled we'll end this way hope you find it useful thank you